All right, good morning everyone. It's Greg Milner here at Worldwide Salon Marketing um, for this special uh, webinar. We've uh, invited uh, Leanne Galea as my special guest. Uh, Leanne is the founder and director of Ubrand Cosmetics and this webinar is about how to create your own products. The um, uh, it's, it's a question that many salon owners uh, have thought about. Um, many, many actually do it. And uh, Leanne is the specialist on this. Uh, Leanne's been uh, in the salon industry for 20 years, um, owned salons with up to 30 staff at uh, various stages. So uh, thanks for joining us, Leanne. Hey, Greg. Great to join you too. And, and hello, everybody. It's nice, nice to be here. I hope that is going to be enjoyable. So, and not Leanne, cool. tell us tell us about um, your background. What you, you you've been a salon owner, but what um, brought you to a uh, position where you're creating brands for other people? Okay, Greg, I'm extremely passionate about um, what we're doing at the moment and offering businesses to have their own brand. For many years, I well, from the time I can re ever remember, I always wanted to put. 100% into what I was doing and um, going into the hair and beauty industry, which is a tough industry um, I was very lucky. I had a lot of successes along the way, but that was just mainly due to the hard work the research um, You know the, the wins and the losers in business um, To get to where I am today and having obviously supported a lot of brands in my time um, Having your own brand is, is something that I see extremely valuable and powerful in someone's business and um, it's, it's very enjoyable for those who actually really see a, a business, something that is going to make the money. Um, at the end of the day, we do. We're in the service industry. We love to do what we do when you own a hair and beauty salon. Um, but at the end of the day, we're also here to make money. Um, having a, lot, a big team and not being a hairdresser personally myself, um, and when a customer walks through the door, it's so powerful to have your own brand. It's extremely, it's a tool. It's, it's probably one of the most beneficial tools that you can have um, and affordable tools to have where someone can walk away from your business and also take something with them. So when you, when you decided to start Ubrand, what brought, why did you do that? I mean, there are lots of um, companies who do private labeling. What, 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 uh, what brought you to it? Well, look, I know from the ground up what it takes to run a salon, a, a business. And um, from, from saying that, you know, like you've got to have a point of difference. You've got to have something that um, customers can come back to you. It can build your retention rate up. It can actually, you know, as long as you understand the power of it. I mean, how many times do you give somebody a product and it might have somebody else's name on it? And, um, you know, and they walk out and then they can buy it from anywhere else on the, on the internet. I had a lot of staff and obviously with staffing there comes losses in staff, they go somewhere else. This can help retain staff as well if you educate them on your brand. It takes a bit of a process to do it. I mean, look, having a, you know, a salons in my time and a large team buying real estate from that, going into different avenues, I looked at and then into business consulting, seeing how salons get behind and, you know, what their profit and loss statements are. It was something that drew me into, you know, helping a business. It's like waking up. Everybody sometimes wants to go for a walk or get out in the fresh air. Having your own brand is something that I live and breathe. And um, knowing firsthand how much I've made for other businesses, it's time, I think, to you know, and see what they can actually make in their business. So when, you, when you're talking about creating your own brand, what's the process that a salon owner has to go through? Look, we've made it extremely easy. And believe me, there's a lot of hard work. I mean, there's a lot of hard work between launching your own brand. You've got to have to start with passion. If you don't believe that your business can make more money, can actually, you know, bring people back to your business, and that, you know, you care about your business enough, then, then having your own brand is probably, your brand's probably not the right company for you because we, we actually care that you dig deep and you work hard about your brand. Um, a business plan is important. You know, like you've got to have a business plan in play when you launch a, launch a brand. But in saying that, with four easy steps, and I, and I don't want to sound like I'm a sales pitch here because believe me, it's not. With, with four easy steps with us, you can launch your own brand. It's extremely, we, we've done all the hard work, we've done the formulating, we've done the manufacturing, we're producing products and we're continually to produce products 
that's easy accessible to our customers. But they've also got to dig in deep and you've got to look at your brand and you've got to look at where it's going to be in the next 12 months and give it that time as well. Um, because you've got a lot of brands, a lot of, a lot of different businesses and, and have, their, have a selection of brands in their business, which is great. People do like a selection of brands. But you've got to sit it and make it part of your culture when you launch your own brand. It's got to become a philosophy within your business. What kind of products do you produce for salons? What are the, what, what are the, um, what's the range? Well, to put it blankly, our range is growing that we're offering. Um, we do skincare and hair care products. So when it comes to, and we, and we try to keep away from any nasty chemicals. So anything that's got parabens and sulfates and MEA, DEA, we try and, we try and concentrate on Australian-made products. This is where we are. And um, we try and make sure those products are healthy for the body and give you results. Performance is really important. So all your formulations, all your um, skincare products, your moisturisers, um, um, your night creams, your day creams, your hair products, your shampoos, treatments, conditioners, etc. they're all formulated and mixed in Australia, yeah? In Australia. And we're proud of that. Do you know, like, it's very proud to, you know, it's, you know, we've got so many resources here in Australia to be able to utilise. And what New Brand has, has put together, I suppose, an easy solution, a quick-to-the-market solution for businesses to be able to utilise what's made here in Australia and actually support Australia made within, within the country and, and exterior. And, and, of course, you can formulate for people, salon owners in other countries, obviously. Look, we have inquiries all around the world um, and it's exciting because people are understanding the power of having your own brand in your business. But it's also, um, you know, it's also what you want out of your product when you launch it. So we've got three different solutions for our customers and we have like an easy, you know, easy start solution, which is basically you can launch your own brand. It's quick to the market um, and that can take up to three to four weeks we've got a corporate solution and we have a premium. So we, we, we pretty much resolve ours where you can either customise a product or you do a quick to the market solution, which is, is fantastic. Yeah. Just uh, for those who have joined us um, after the start, um, I'm going to open it up to questions. So if you want to ask uh, Leanne a question, um, just unmute yourself, um, put your hand up and say, Leanne, it's uh, it's uh, Roger or Jolene or wherever from uh, wherever you are, and uh, we'll. Uh, I'm sure Leanne will be happy to answer your questions. Just as an example, um, in fact, one of our own member salons um, here in Australia has just um, designed their own brand with uh, with you, uh, Leanne. I just want to share the screen and and show that. That's uh, Jackie Breezley's new um, range of. Um, hair and beauty products. Um, and so the, the artwork is done by uh, you, uh, Leanne, and your team uh, based on the uh, artwork that's sent to you from the, from the salon, yeah? Yes, um, we have a graphics team that basically, when you want to launch your own brand, depending on obviously your budget as well and what package you choose, what we do is um, we have that all in house. So you basically, um, depending if you want your logo and it's just your logo and we get all the different requirements our guys will put it together then we give you a visual display on what your product will look like we also send you a sample of what the the product will look like and that's done um, in a short period of time based on our customers um, input so if you have a logo and you take a little bit of time getting it to us then obviously that's going to delay um, a production, but that, that is, that's the fantastic. We are a one-stop um, facilities. What, what, so what is the, let, let's say that um, I got an uh, artwork to you today um, and I wanted a range of hair care products uh, in my own salon's name. How long would it take to get that range delivered to me and operating on the shelves and ready for launch? Okay, Greg, this is where it comes back, and, and you'd understand this as well when you, you have customers that want their websites and, and bits and pieces done. Um, for us at Ubrand, we basically will send you once. we have It's a four-step process. So you pick a package that you want. We basically um, we'll do your design. We ask you for the different requirements um, of your logo form. Um, and then basically what we do is we put that together and we send you a visual display. Um, once that's approved, we send you a physical label 
Now that's the longest, it, it can be in your business within two to three weeks. We usually say between four to six because depending on the logos, depending on timeframes and, and where you're about to be located, that can drag out just slightly. But within, you know, within a couple of months, you can be integrating your brand into your business, which can take up to, you know, six months for you to get the feel for the brand, um, make some changes if you want your pa um, packaging to be changed and also create um, a story about your brand. So, um, and, and look, the different types of labeling might be where you're having clear labeling you're putting onto a packaging. Um, you might choose an amber sort of package, a white, a clinical package, um, depending on how far you want to go with your brand. It's, it's, it's where you want to take it and how, how the look will look. Let's talk money. What, what's, what's a, um, What's it going to cost a salon basic uh, first order to get this rolling? Okay, we have a lot of products that are going to be launched, which is exciting for everybody to utilise. Um, you can take, we have our Easy Start package, which varies from about $700, which is ridiculous. Um, but in, and then we have a premium package, which is around $1,800. From that premium, and that's where you can customise your label, make changes, do everything. And with these different values, obviously, the amount of product that's in that package grows. Um, and then we have, obviously, our corporate packages, which they're ordering thousands of units. So when you get into that level, um, margins get better. So initially, we have a, an easy start solution that you can get into your business within a month. Um, then we go into your premium packages, which... Same time frame, it just, you get that little bit of variation with your products and what the actual product looks like. And then we have our corporates, which take, you know, they can take three to six, um, you know, months, depending on how big a quantity, what variations, um, how much input you put in and, you know, requirements that are involved with the product specifications. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got my product in my salon. Um, terrific. It's taken four or six weeks to get it here. Then what do I do? How do I launch it? Okay. Well, I suppose one thing that we find, there's a lot of pitfalls that people don't, you know, that, that when they get their brand, they go, oh, my God, I've, I haven't really done anything in the interim in those four weeks. I haven't really got excited about my brand. I haven't planned anything. It's going to come here. It's going to sell. But we all know it doesn't matter if you have a top brand sitting on that's been around for many, many years, got a rep, an account manager that comes out all the time, um, supports you. Sometimes a product can sit on that shelf and not move. So in between that time where you launch your brand and you can come on board, our marketing solutions are growing. So what we do now is um, we have a marketing launch pack. We also have different marketing solutions that um, you can, you know, have point of sale. You can make sure you've got some flyers that can hand out with you. And we want to try and grow our online um, training facilities because at the moment, we have a lot of requests for myself to go out and see um, and for our team to go out and, you know, personally train the staff and get them educated. But remember, this is your brand. This is something that is very powerful in your business. And, and your brand was put together because it's about you. It's about you launching a brand into your business and getting excited. Um, the pitfalls is the consistency. Um, a lot of people are consistent when they launch something, whether it, um, it's, it's putting the time linking it up with your website. When you have a brand, the one thing you want to do is make sure you have all your marketing support. So if you've got a brand, and Greg, you would know how powerful a website, how powerful what needs to go to make it, um, you know, tick and work for you. Having it online and being available 24-7 is so important. It's got a present. People can actually, you know, see it. And if they want to purchase it around the clock, they can do it without having to wait till the salon opens. Um, I hope that's answered. <laughs> yeah, so so that's so that that's uh, it's it's in, the marketing of a thing is just as important as the thing itself, obviously. So there's no well, point in getting your own brand if you're going to hide it under the counter. No, definitely, we've got fantastic formulations. We've got products that have been tested in the market for a long time, and um, so at the end of it, if you've got that facilities to launch your own brand, your new brand, and it's on your shelf. The first things I would be making sure is that you, you know, you link it up with your treatments, you link it up with um, your social media, you also link it up um, maybe with your local community, charities, you know, you'll see a lot of the big companies, they'll link up with a charity because um, it's something that you can give back as well through your own branding. 
and it's affordable because you can do your own shots and with social media growing so vastly, take a picture of you with your brand. Take a picture of a client with your brand. Sit it on the front and, you know, you, if you're going for a walk and then you see a nice aesthetics where you, 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 you're walking along the beach, put it, the product around there. there. Get, a, get a blog going. Um, the list goes on with what you can do with your own brand. All right, I'm just going to share my screen again because um, there's a free guide uh, that people can get uh, from your website called How to Create Your Own Brand and Sell on Product. So for those on the, uh, on the webinar, um, that's the page that it'll, it'll take you to on um, Ubrand Cosmetics uh, website and you can download that free guide. And uh, uh, I can actually send you the link via the chat screen. So everybody on this call, should be able to see that link now. Um, I just wanted to open it up. Uh, does anyone have any uh, questions of Leanne? Um, anything at all that uh, uh, you'd like to uh, answer? Uh, everyone's unmuted for the time being. So who'd, who'd like to pipe up with a question of Leanne? You can see, you can hear the noise coming through there, Leanne. <laughs> Anyone want to ask Leanne a question? Do you think that you'll get a makeup range as well? Look, we're, we want to specialise in, in what we're doing and what we can do well. At this stage, um, I'm never going to say never. It's like when you introduce a juicer brand. Never you know, say that you can't expand something. But at this stage, makeup isn't on our immediate forecast um, to, to launch. <laughs> yeah, and what, um, what sort of shampoo and conditioner for example do you have look we, we've got a broad range of um shampoos and conditioners that we can formulate anything um in regards to shampoos we have a lot of volumizing hydrating repairing shampoos um we've also got i've been a blonde i absolutely love our blonde shampoo um, which, which obviously could be yours um and we we, we formulate um styling products and um you know, hydrating um, mists for the hair as well. Okay. <laughs> 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 Little friend. All right. Does that uh, does that answer your question? With that, with that yeah. Caller? So, with you, um, are they all obviously like color safe? Um, yeah. And then, would you like within your hydrate range? Can they be, you know, different as well, or are they all just is it just those three main products that you've got or three main ranges? And we, we can formulate pretty much anything and customise anything. It just comes yeah. to obviously your budget. Um, if you want a selected fragrance or if you want, um, you know, uh, variations in a product, we have to look at the customisations and that takes a little bit of time. So yeah. we know what our formulations that we've got really work um, and they're actually tested out there in the market. So some of the leading salons and, and um, you know, ambassadors um, are actually utilising the brand and doing really, really well. So I think it's um, it, it's just a broad, you know, hair, hair extension shampoos, conditioners. Um, there's so many different variations in what you need. And I'd love to be able to, to show you more. Does that help? Yes. Okay. Anybody else with a question of, of uh, Leanne, jump in, unmute yourselves. Um, and uh, and fire away, um, uh, Leanne. While that's while people are thinking about what they want to ask you, um, when somebody creates a, uh, their own branded product, how easy is that to change or add to as as they sell the products and and what a reorder? Okay, it's a three to five turnaround time for you, for you to receive your next order. Um, we don't print off one or two of your labels, so you have to get your design right to start with. Um, once that design's right, we um, store a lot of your labels and we, we label them up. We've got a team that labels them up and sends them out within a three to five working day. If you're going to add, we've, we've got about four products that are launching um, as we speak. And um, for you to introduce another product to your range, there is a small fee involved for the up label upload and we print off a lot so that we've got it in stock. So as soon as you order, um, you basically can put, um, it will be out to you to already to sell. Okay, now you obviously. Sorry, go on. What was that, Leanne? Oh, sorry, I lost you there, Greg. No, yeah, okay. um, not very 
very long at all. And it's, it's strictly affordable. It could be up to $50 just to relaunch another product. Now, obviously, and minimum orders are... So, sorry, go again. So minimum your orders, like where, where, where there's no risk involved, your minimum order is six units. So every time you reorder, it's six unit um, minimum order, MOQ. Um, for professional, you can you can do professional stock if you want. You can and do a fifty mil size for sample sizes. Um, we do have questions. This is one thing with margins. How you know? How do I get better margins? You know, I have a brand that comes in here and they're offering me a you know a product ready to go. And I, I don't like to mention any anyone's you know brands around the place. And I think they might have a brand that's sitting there and they want better margins from their brand. What you have to do is build up your quantities with us and we can reduce those margins. So you have no limitations on what you sell your product for. So if you want to sell, and, and I would recommend 100%, no matter what, some salons are, are doing it for 200 or plus. Obviously, being your own brand, it can't be purchased anywhere else. So uh, there's no risk of people finding it cheaper on a website or in a department store, for example. So you can put any price you like on it because they're not going to get it anywhere else, are they? Well, look, Greg, if you wanted to launch your own brand and you decide to sell it everywhere, you may choose that everybody can buy your brand, but they've got to come to you to buy it. So you might decide you want to sell it on Amazon. You might want to just sell it in your immediate audience when a customer comes through and here's my brand. But you choose, as a customer, you choose where you want to sell your brand to. Um, you might want to go through a distribution chain where they're, they're selling it um, outside of the selling environment. Um, it's... Um, can't, they can't get it but through you, wherever you decide to distribute your product. Okay. Yep. It's, it's, it's a, from that point of view, it's, it's a no-brainer really, isn't it? Look, if I had to open a salon tomorrow, Greg, and look, I, my goal was to turn over a million dollars in my first salon, and I did. And um, I'm proud of that because I, I'm proud of the team that I had on at the time. And I turned over a lot of staff over a long period of time. And... Um, I was extremely passionate about customer service and, you know, if someone had to come to me then and offered me my own brand or if I was to open a salon tomorrow, would I launch my own brand? 100%. Um, 100%. And then I would pick the suppliers that I need to help me build my business to the way I need to get. Um, having your own brand is not everything in your business unless you choose it to be your sole income. But when you have your own brand and it's in your business, that's a revenue that can help People come back to your business and help your um, your overall turnover that can come back to your family grow. All right. One more chance for um, anyone to ask any questions of Leanne. Jump in now. Um, put your hand up. Speak up or forever hold your peace. <laughs> That's what my, I had to say to my husband and my husband said to me. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look like uh, we've got any questions now. So um, I'd like to thank you for coming along and being with us this morning, um, giving us your time. Uh, it's an exciting thing to have your own brand, obviously. Um, part of it's ego, but it's got to be driven by business sense as well. So uh, anybody uh, wishing to ask Leanne any more questions, um, Leanne's website is ubrandcosmetics.com. Um, so jump on there and you'll find Leanne's phone number uh, at the top of that page. Ring her up, harass her, um, pepper her with questions. Uh, don't hold back. So thank you very much, Leanne, for uh, giving us your time this morning. No, thank you, Greg, and thanks everyone for joining us today.